This is Jana with Alderwood Mall Ranch. And we're a little suburban homestead and we're just getting going. I'm here in my office and wanted to show y'all the first week of getting our New Hampshire red chicks. Um, let's see, we got them from Ideal Poultry. And by the way, um, they will always go to the post office for you to pick up, even if you call the post office and they say that it's delivered to your house. So we figured that out yesterday. But thankfully we got them safe home and they all survived. So there we go. Um, I'll show you our setup. We used a dog crate um, that used to be our dogs and we're able to repurpose it because she now is a princess and never stays in it. Um, we're in my office and we repurposed my closet for the chick area. And this is a large dog crate and I saw a couple videos that I'll link down below um, that had um, some ideas for how to modify it. Um, so basically I lined cardboard on the inside and I used string to tie it around the bars. You can see there in the corners over there. And then I lined the, uh, on the bottom, I lined it with duct tape so it wouldn't get out. I left this part open so I can remove this whenever I need to clean it out a little more easily. Um, when I close it, it's nice and snug. And I cut out a cardboard piece so if they were to try and jump on this, they wouldn't. Um, be able to stick their little heads out and get stuck. Um, this also really helps um, with our dog so she can't get and get, get them. So we got nine New Hampshire red chicks. They came in yesterday, so they're a few days old from Ideal Poultry. And we used pine shavings. Um, and then I tried two different kinds of waters, um, and I didn't actually have to dip, dip their beaks in there. They kind of figured it out really quickly. I think they were pretty thirsty. Um, and then I have tried two different versions because I saw that you can use the small quail one whenever they're really little, and then they like the rocks for the bigger one. I got one of these kind of mason jar feeders, um, which they seem to really like. They tried to hop on it, but they slide off. Um, the first day I tried paper towels, but that just ended up getting pretty gross and they seem to pretty, pretty sure for it already. Sorry, girls. I know you're kind of scared. I'm using a infrared heat lamp, um, with these producers pride bulbs I got from Trader, uh, Tractor Supply. And I suspended it. I tested the temperature and this seemed to be the right one for the girls. Um, and um, I suspended it. I've lowered the curtain rod here um, so I could um, kind of have that rested. I probably should secure it a little better. Um, but as the chicks get older, I can raise that. I'm using this 20% starter um, grower, and they seem to like that pretty well. Um, and yeah, so they seem like they're doing pretty good. Um, I've been looking at their butts, butts and I don't see any pasty butt syndrome, but overall I'm just really happy with them and I'll be posting some updates as they grow.